Disney Sports Friday. And uh, what a Friday night it is. What, with more important high school football games scheduled than any other week thus far, including two of the best rivalries around Wheeling Park and Brook and Big Red Central, which is our game of the week and where we begin tonight. Mr. Ziegler. Mr. Phillips in Steubenville, where they celebrated the 50th anniversary of the storied rivalry that has been played every year since 1943. Now, there are those who will tell you that this is really not much of a game because Big Red had won the last 11 times they had played Central. But those people just don't get it. When it comes to good-natured intensity, Big Red Central is unsurpassed. And even though they are annually billed as the underdog, the Crusaders somehow seem to give Big Red all they can handle virtually every time they play. Tonight was no different. First quarter action. Fourth down play for the Crusaders. Mike Orlando to Fred Manilak. First down inside the five. First and goal for the Crusaders. And then a couple of plays later, it would be Mike Orlando, the quarterback, on third down and goal from the one-yard line. He'll take it in for the touchdown, and the Crusaders led seven to nothing. We go to the end of the half, and Big Red tries to make a comeback. Their quarterback, Shane Nalepa, is going to find his fullback, Chris Snyder, for the big gainer over the middle, down to the two-yard line with just 16 seconds left in the half. They go for the touchdown, and who else do they go to but Ty Rohn Roseberry. He'll go in from two yards out, a great catch of the pitch into the end zone. The extra point was missed. It was 7-6, Big Red at the half. Second half, Big Red tries to go for a 28-yard field goal, and here's what happened. The wind has died. Black kick is... A big play by Fred Manilak. He blocked the kick. The score remains 7-6. And then this play was another big one. Joe Colshaw, the punter, fakes at his own 30-yard line. A first down for Catholic Central, and they continue to control the ball. Then it's a big play for Big Red. Fourth and ten. Their last couple of possessions. It's intercepted by Mark Hero, and Central is sensing they could pull off the upset. They go in for one more score. They need another score, and here's what happened there. Down. It's Donald Thorne trying to put the final icing on the cake, and he yeah. does. Touchdown, Donald Thorne. The Crusaders have done it. But there was still one last chance for Big Red. They needed to score on this play, down 13 to six. Throws across the middle, complete the shot. Oh, the clock has expired. He's got to get into the end zone or it's over. And it's over. Let the celebration begin for the Steubenville Catholic Central Crusaders. After 12 years of frustration, they have beaten Big Red. And after the game, Greg Bain. How did you pull off this upset? Our kids play very hard. They play very hungry. And again, uh, we believe a lot of people had us written off. And this is for all the people who thought that this series should be ended. Our kids never did. We never did. What does this mean? Pardon? What does this mean to your program? Hey, it means that we're four and three. We're, hey, uh, maybe back in the playoff hunt. I don't know. And uh, again, we've had a lot, a lot of teams that have lost heartbreaking games like this. And from 1981 to 1991, this one, aside from our kids, from our family, this one was for you. How are you going to celebrate? Huh? How are you going to celebrate? I'm going to go home with my wife and my kids. And I don't know. Just don't kiss me. That's good. <laughs> it's not as good. Hard out. Lisa Kick. <laughs> Steubenville Catholic Central with a decade-making victory. For the first time in 11 years, they have won the Steubenville City title. Congratulations to the Crusaders, a Herculean effort. They go to four and three, and they are back into the playoff hunt. Big Red goes down. They are now five and two on the season. Of course, this game can be seen right after Sports Friday. You'll want to stay up and tape it if you're a Steubenville Catholic Central fan. Defense would hang tough, and as the quarter ends, Big Red is forced into a situation of a field goal. Freddie Manilak breaks through the line and blocks the field goal giving the Crusaders the football and one of the game's biggest plays. Central used up some valuable time with a drive spearheaded by a great play to Joey Polshaw, who scrambles after the dump pass into Big Red territory. Big Red would stop the drive and try to fight back. But again, the Crusader defense hangs tough. The pass is batted, then intercepted by Mike Hero. He returns the ball all the way to the 25-yard line with just 107 left on the clock. Two plays later, tailback Donnie Thorne scampers around the end, 
He's into the end zone for a 10-yard touchdown and a 13-6 lead. Big Red would try to fight back. Just nine seconds left on the clock. It's downfield. Jason Shackelford hauls it in over the middle. He breaks free, but he can't get into the end zone and dragged down as the clock runs out. Tonight's crusade has ended, and the 12-year drought is over. Stupinville Central wins it 13-6. Fantastic game tonight, the first win since 1980.